to Yeti's Place. This is Yeti the Sammy Ed and I'm Yeti's mom. And on today's episode, we are going to talk about the things you should know before bringing home a puppy. Up next on Yeti's Place. If you guys are new here, please be sure to subscribe, click that bell, and be sure to comment on our video. Yeti loves reading your comments. So my husband and I brought home a little seven and a half week old puppy named Chewy. We were so unprepared for Chewy. We didn't even know how to puppy proof our house. So Chewy literally ate the whole house. He shredded our baseboard trim. He shredded the carpet. He ate a hole in the wall. He ate a hole in our sofa that was about this big. He ate holes everywhere. He shredded the carpet so badly in about two hour time frame that he had a mound of carpeting like this tall in the middle of the floor. After Chewy was about two years old, life was better. He had calmed down. We had figured out that you should walk at Sammy Ed twice a day at least, being gone for a half hour at each time or more. And you should play a whole bunch with your little Sammy Ed puppy. Before you bring a new puppy home, you have to puppy proof your house. Put everything up. You have to find your cords, put those up. You have to find books that are hanging out near the floor. You have to put those up. Get them plenty of chew toys and those freezy bones. Those work wonderfully for a little puppy with razor sharp teeth. You have to baby proof all electrical outlets in your house. You know those little white plasticky things that you can stick into an electrical outlet? Do that on all the electrical outlets in your home because these little guys, they're gonna be curious. They wanna sniff everything, they wanna lick everything. So we don't want them to get into something dangerous that could hurt them. So these are the things that I mean. Yeah, see, Yeti is working on it. Of course it has paint on it because that's the color of my walls, but this is plastic. The plastic part goes into the electrical outlet and then this part sits on the outside which is just a solid piece of plastic covering the outlet. It's awesome. You also should put all of your cleaning supplies away. <laughs> put them up high where they cannot reach them or else if you lock them below in a cabinet be sure to get those childproof cabinet locks so that your dog cannot sit there and pull it open with their using their paws or their sharp little baby razor sharp teeth. When you puppy proof a home, it is just like baby proofing a house. Be sure to ask the breeder if you get your dog from a breeder. If you get it if you get your puppy from a Sammy Ed shelter or from a dog shelter, be sure to ask what type of food they feed your dog. When a puppy or a dog is moved to a new location, they get nervous because it's a new location with new people. They don't know what what's going on, they don't know how to react. So you wanna make sure that they feel secure. So the best way to do that is with keeping their diet the same. I believe that for Yeti, we got him a 20 pound bag of dog food, which was about like this big. His breeder had fed him a specific type of food, so we went and got him the same type of food and we fed him almost the entire bag. Then when we were down toward about halfway through the bag, then we started incorporating some of his new food into the mix. We would do a mix of 75% of his puppy food mixed in with 25% of the new food to transition him. We did that for about a period of five days. After those five days, then we worked on a 50-50 mix for five more days. Then we would mix in 25% of the puppy food mixed in with 75% of his new food for five more days. Then we switched him completely to his new doggy food. Potty training a brand new puppy Sammy Ed is always, always such a treat. I'll place the link up here. Yeah, you're, are you following my finger? Because the link is gonna be up here, sweetie. They're a puppy. They're going to have tiny bladders. So with those tiny bladders, they have a lot of accidents. What I did with both Chewy and Yeti when they were little, is I would pay super close attention to them. I was like a mama hawk. When they would play, they were fine as long as they were still racing around playing with the toy. But the second they stopped playing, I brought them outside immediately immediately after they eat. And immediately after they wake up, you should also bring them outside. Immediately after they drink water, 
bring them outside when they're little guys. If a puppy has an accident, a piddle accident, or a poopy accident, you would use some liquid odor removal that gets rid of the smell because a dog is going to be attracted to the area where they just went potty and they're going to continue to keep going potty in that area so you want to neutralize that smell. You're going to follow the directions on the bottle. On a hard surface you wipe down the area where they went potty or where they, they pooped. When it's wiped up then you would sprinkle on the liquid odor remover and then you would let that sit for what the directions say on the back. And I will post links down below regarding the, the specific type of, of material that we used for Yeti and that we had used for Chewy too. One of the first things that you should do when you own a new puppy, be sure to schedule that first vet visit. The vet will look your dog over, make sure that they don't have any heartworm or any types of worms or illnesses or anything that they could have gotten while they were puppies. So you just wanna make sure that your vet checks them out within a few days after you bring them home. So both Yeti and Chewy had some type of worm and it happens. So just be sure that you bring them into the vet right away after you get them, like within the first few days, have the vet check them out and the vet can work with you to, to figure out a good routine for your dog. You can ask your vet all the questions that you have regarding the overwhelm that you might be feeling about owning a new puppy. Schedule a few days off from work to be home with your brand new puppy. I mean, this is a new baby that you've brought home to your house. You need to be there with your baby Fuzz to help them acclimate to your home, to get you used to the puppy, and to help with bonding time. Plus, they're just so cute. I mean, who can resist being around a little puppy? At nighttime, you're going to crate train your dog so that they won't have potty accidents. A puppy doesn't go potty where it sleeps. So if a puppy is in his, in his crate, his or her crate, overnight, they're not going to go potty in the crate, which is a good thing for you in your house. Most of all, be sure to have a lot of fun with your little puppy. They are such a joy and they grow up so quickly into these big, beautiful, gorgeous dogs and they just steal your heart. You guys have a good day and we'll see you next time. Bye.